Nasasin, how is everybody doing? My name is Candace, and welcome to Fearless Freedom TV. So this is like the first official Fearless Freedom TV video. And so the whole purpose of this channel is going to be to highlight expat life, not only in Istanbul, Turkey, mostly in Istanbul, Turkey, but also to highlight um, expat life in other areas like Italy, where I've lived, Spain, Portugal, etc. So that is the whole purpose of this channel and also just um, sharing my journey as an expat with all of you all. So I want to kind of start out this video talking about how I ended up in Istanbul, Turkey, because it's actually a very funny and unique story and people ask me all the time. And please do not mind if I sip on my tea while I tell my story. So anyways, I am originally from Florida um, and I moved to Rome, Italy like almost two years ago in 2018. So I just so happened um, was involved with a gentleman who was from Germany, from Berlin. He happened to be Turkish, like half Turkish. And he was telling me about how Istanbul or Turkey had great doctors and at the moment I was like really involved in the and I still am in the level up community if you all don't know what the level up community is the level up community is just a group of women who are dedicated to femininity and to improving their lives and being the best women that they can be so for some women that includes plastic surgery that includes um, certain kind of special skincare treatments, etc. Um, for me, um, I when he told me that, you know, I was thinking, I said, wow, you know, this is a great opportunity because I have always worked for myself in um, Florida. My sister and I, we had a successful brow and lash bar um, slash salon. And I closed it in 2019 because she got pregnant. I didn't want to continue to run the business. I knew I didn't want to come back to the U.S. And especially come back to the U.S. to run the business. So I just was like, okay, it's over. And then on top of that, there were some other things with my father passed away. There was a lot of financial issues going on. So there was a lot of stuff going on at the same time. So anyways, long story short... Um, I was like, okay, you know, this sounds like this could be a good opportunity. So I decided to come to Istanbul for kind of like work slash holiday slash vacation and just see if I can make some connections for the purpose of medical tourism, which is huge here in Turkey. Like I did not realize how huge medical tourism is here in, um, in Turkey. So I bought my ticket um, and I left like at the end of February. And so I'm going to tell you like a really crazy story about something that almost prohibited me from even coming here. So the night before or like two days before, um, I was supposed to leave for Istanbul. There was, um, rumors that there was a strike going on and, and transportation strikes are so common all over Europe and especially in Italy, like all the time you hear about strikes going on and I was just like, okay, whatever, you know, but then when I dug a little deeper, I realized, I was like, oh my God, like this is not just a strike, like this is specifically um, a strike for air traffic control. So I was like, oh my God, like, are you seriously telling me that they're planning on striking on the day that I'm supposed to leave? So y'all, <laughs> never in my life have I prayed. I was like, oh my God. I was like, okay, God, the universe, the ancestors, the angels, all the benevolent beings on the planet. Like, I really just need you all to somehow open up this door so I can get to Istanbul because I really need to get there and um, and everything. And so, like, the day, the night before my flight, I received an email that said, um, you know, you're, we do apologize for the inconvenience, but the form, the strike may affect your flight. Please check back. So I was, I was just so down. I was like, oh my God, this cannot be happening to me. 
And so probably about, what, 30, 40 minutes after I said the hardest prayer that I probably ever said in my entire life, I received another another um, email saying, we do apologize for the inconvenience, but the aforementioned strike has been canceled. I said, oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I was, I was like, I need to get to Istanbul. And I just felt in my spirit, I needed to get to Istanbul. So I checked in the morning, my flight was still on. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, the flight is still going on. And I was like, okay, let me just, you know, double check. I get to the airport and cause some flights have been canceled. Some flights to Istanbul have been canceled and some flights to a lot of different places have been canceled. So I go and I check the board and you guys, my flight to Istanbul for that day was the only flight not canceled. Can you believe that? So, having needless to say, I made it to Istanbul. So I was supposed to only stay for like, what is this? Like 12 days, something like that. I was even gonna go to Izmir because there was a dentist in Izmir that I was supposed to have, um, you know, visit their facility and everything. And so I was really excited about that. So I get a text message, you know, this was like COVID was getting kind of crazy. Italy was getting ready to close its borders and do a lockdown. People were telling me, oh, Candace, you need to hurry up and come back. You need to hurry up and come back to Italy. In my spirit, I didn't really want to come back. Like, I, I don't know why, but I didn't feel the urge or like the deep seated need to come back to Italy like that. Because number one, my mom had come to get my daughter. I'm divorced. I'm a divorced mother. So my mom had come to get my daughter and take her back to the States for some grandma time for a few minutes, a few months, because, you know, I needed a little bit of a break and there were some things that I needed to do for business. So my mom flew to Rome um, in February, got my daughter um, and brought her back to Florida. So, you know, here I was in Istanbul. I didn't have my daughter with me. I didn't feel like going back to Rome right then to to do what? To be in the house alone. And um, on top of that, I just really had the feeling like I didn't really want to be in that apartment. And, you know, there were other things going on. So I just like, let me just see what's going on. Let me just play things by ear and just see what happens. So the Turkish government decided probably a few days later to close its borders to Italy. So my flight, I received notification that my flight had been canceled. Not only had my flight been canceled back to Rome, but also to Izmir. So I was like, wow, okay, so I'm here. I almost didn't make it here, but I did make it to Istanbul. Now, when it's almost time for me to leave, I felt like I'm being prohibited from leaving and going back to Italy. And honestly, I had wanted to stay in Istanbul for a while anyways, because I'm like, I don't have my, my daughter with me. So it's a perfect opportunity for me to kind of explore and do some of the things that I don't normally get a chance to do when I have to focus my time and attention on her. So I was stuck essentially in Istanbul. And before we got, we went on lockdown, there were about three weeks or so before we went on lockdown and I was really able to explore Istanbul. I did some tours. I was able to see the Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque, the the Grand Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar, and really kind of roamed through some of the neighborhoods. I actually had a business meeting on the Asian side of Istanbul and I was just like, I was so impressed with the city. <clears throat> excuse me, I was just so impressed with the city. I said, oh my God, I love this place. It's like the perfect total sum of who I am because I am a self-proclaimed modern traditionalist. That's what I always say about myself and my personality. Uh, a little known fact about me is I used to practice Islam. I practiced Islam for like four years and I actually used to wear hijab. So I used to be a hijabi and I used to cover, I know like, and people look at me now and they're like, what? You swear hijab? I'm like, yes. And I have the pictures to prove it. Have the pictures to prove it. But yes, I used to wear hijab. So, there, you know, for, for a Western woman, for an American woman, I am still quite 
conservative as far as and traditional as far as my values are concerned and my family values are concerned but I am very modern and you know I don't I try not to be so judgmental I'm more open-minded so that's you know and I, I'm a more of a modern woman in in certain aspects or certain instances but I'm quite traditional and so I found that there's like this wonderful balance here in Istanbul that has the deep traditions the family values um, that I really like and but it's still modern and it's still thriving and you can still find a lot of the things that you need to find in fact I found that and I'll have to do another video about that like the comparison between Rome and Istanbul but I actually found that I can find more of the things that I want and need here in Istanbul than I could in Rome like in the States you know you can you can basically get anything you want anywhere anytime you have Amazon who can deliver like same day to you um, you know you have access to so many products and in Rome it's a little bit limited but here I found like I could get more of what I want or what I'm looking for so I just like oh my god I love this city I love the city and I had wanted to move anyways I felt like okay my Italian visa is going to be up toward the end of the year I I in my spirit I just felt like I wasn't going to be in Rome very much longer matter of fact I had told my mother before I came to Istanbul I this was probably back in January we had a phone conversation and then when she came to Rome we were at a cafe and we had a similar conversation I said mom you know what I don't think I'm gonna be in, in Italy very much longer it's like something in my spirit just I just don't know if I'm gonna be here I was like I still haven't given up hope of having a great relationship with somebody and I just don't feel like it's gonna happen here in Italy because I'm not really with the culture of cohabitation that a lot of Europeans are into and um, I was like I just can't deal with it I was like something very powerful excuse me in the universe needs to happen in order for me to be in the place where I need to be because I just feel like this is not it and I know for a fact I do not want to go back to the US to live full-time not after living in Europe for almost two years I just I can't do it now I you know I, I always say yes I'm proud to be an American um, yes there are many positive things about the US but the lifestyle the American lifestyle that's just not who I am as a person never was and so my spirit just feels much better over here so anyways you know I found myself here in Istanbul I was like I really love it it's so awesome and right then and there I just decided I was gonna move here and um, then we went on lockdown that was a little bit obviously difficult for everybody and um, now that things have opened back up you know, I'm rediscovering the city and, oh my God, just really realizing why I fell in love with this city. It's so me. Like, it's just so me. It's near the water. I miss living near the water. I haven't lived near the water since I lived in Miami. And I that's one thing I, when I moved away from Miami, that was one of the hardest things to, like, kind of wrap my brain around is that I wouldn't be near the water because I love the beach. I love the water. Um, just walking by the water, sitting near the water. And so being in Istanbul is just so calming for me because, you know, a lot of things are by the water. They have the Princess Islands. Um, and there are all kinds of beautiful beaches in Turkey. Um, on the Black Sea coast and also, you know, the Mediterranean. So I just feel like there's so much, so many things about the Turkish lifestyle that resonates deeply with my spirit. And so that's how I ended up in Istanbul. And I actually ended up buying a flat here. So I will probably share a little bit of that journey with you all as well. Because um, I decided, I was like, you know what, I, I need to plant some roots. I'm not one of those expats, like you have some expats, like every couple years or every year they're in a new country and they like that. I can't do that. I can't. I'm a tourist 
Tauruses need stability. We, we we ain't with the like jumping around kind of thing. We're just not. So for me, no, I needed, I just decided, I was like, I can't do this. In Rome, I, I didn't ever feel like my apartment was home. I tried to make it as cozy as I could, but I always felt like I was living out of a suitcase and I always felt like, okay, this is not really home for me. So I was like, I need to put down some roots so I can really get comfortable and just stay here. And I just made the decision, Istanbul is going to be my home. This is where I'm going to set up and this is where I'm going to live and thrive. And so, and you know, one of the ways that I, um, one of, one of the reasons I decided to purchase property here is so that I can get my residency here. So taking advantage of some of the, you know, residency through real estate programs, that's what I decided to do because I didn't want to do the student route because Turkey is a little different when it comes to student, student study visas than Italy. And that route didn't provide me what I needed. Plus, I'm tired of going to school. Like, you know, I'm just tired of going to school. I went to school for like almost two years studying Italian and just so burned out. And, you know, I have been learning Turkish, you know, Turkce or in and, and like every single day I study Turkish and I'm learning, but I decided to go a different approach for that because I'm so burned out from school and studying Italian. I was like, I'm gonna learn this language organically and in a different way. So I'm teaching basically self-study and self-teaching myself Turkish and um, it, it's working out just fine. So anyways, that is my story of how I ended up in Turkey how I ended up in Istanbul. It really was because of COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19 kept me trapped here. And um, in the whole process, I ended up falling in love with Istanbul. It has a totally different vibe, of course, from Rome. Um, Italy will always be a big part of my life and a part of my heart. Like Rome just has a beautiful vibe to it. Like most people describe every expat I've met that decided to move to Rome. They say the exact same thing. I felt like I was falling in love. And there is something in the air that when you go to Rome that makes you feel like you're falling in love. Like that feeling that those endorphins and that that chemistry that you feel when you're falling in love. That's how you feel in Rome. And so I, I, I love, always love Rome. I'll always visit Rome. I have amazing friends in Rome. Like I love, I love all my friends in Rome. Hello guys. And, um, but Istanbul feels like home for me because like I said, I'm a modern traditionalist and there's something about the tradition that I love. There's something about hearing the Adan being called throughout the day and hearing it echo through the city that just makes me feel so peaceful and so relaxed. And um, like I said, it's just an amazing city. I can't wait to learn more. So anyways... I am going to make sure to leave the links to my Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Yes, do that. Also, hit the no notifications so that you know when I do another video. And if there are any topics that you all would like to see me cover about Istanbul, please let me know. I'm definitely going to be doing a video comparing Rome and Istanbul. Um... And I'm also going to do another video um, about beauty because I'm a beauty professional by trade. Like I've been a licensed esthetician and beauty professional for years. And so I'm excited to explore the beauty culture here in Istanbul. So I will be doing like a lot of videos on the different treatments that women get. I'm going to go get some treatments um, and I'm going to share that with you guys in another video but whenever I go get some beauty treatments done I'm going to make sure to do a video so you all can see what Istanbul really has has to offer because it's in a very amazing city but anyways you guys take care I will see you all soon Gurushurus, Gule Gule Ciao